The Hello, the Cypher and Scroll coming at you with a, a review for 12 Monkeys' newest episode, Bodies of Water. In this episode, Cassie goes back in time to contact Jennifer about what they need to do to uh, stop them from killing the cogs in the uh, timeline, the people who uh, uh, are essential for time to keep going, uh, because they um, everybody wants to find the cogs, and the t army of the 12 Monkeys wants to take them out to destroy time, of course, and... Uh, so that happened, and also in the future, Ramses and, uh, Cole try to take out Deacon, uh, they go on a solo mission, and it was a really cool, it was really cool how they set it up, how Deacon and, Deacon got tricked by Cole and, uh, Cole and Ramses, I, like, I didn't see that coming at the end, uh, but basically, they said they were gonna go out and try to find some uh, look at a strange anomaly, and they got Deacon to come out alone, and then they, uh, gave him away to one of the people who was, uh, uh, one of Deacon's past, uh, enemies, I basically handed him to him to do a trade deal, uh, to get another one of their guys back, because they wanted Deacon dead, because basically he's sort of been, like, a terrible leader, and he's a sociopath and killer and maniac, you know, so they wanted to get him out of the way, so, uh, but Deacon ends up surviving, which is the crazy part, and he comes back, and he actually doesn't care. He he, he actually compliments Cole and Ramses for trying to uh, to uh, kill him and, out, and how they outplayed him. In 2016, a lot, a lot of character development happens between Cassie and Jennifer. Uh, throughout the series, they've hated each other, like, a ton. But... Uh, we figure out more about Jennifer's past, how she, uh, how she, uh, was abused as a kid, almost got drowned by her own crazy mother, and, uh, we figure out, it's, it's hilarious at first, she's actually on her meds, so she's actually not crazy and insane, which is a changing dynamic for, uh, Jennifer, because, uh, you know, throughout the series, she's been, like, completely, um, loopy, so... Um, she was able to contact and figure out when the next COG's going to be, which is the 70s, which will be next episode. They're going to go to the 70s to try to uh, get him before the Army of the Twelve Monkeys does. And that's going to be awesome. Uh, the one... Uh, I have no complaints with this episode. This episode was fantastic in every way. You know, the character development, because Cassie connected with uh, Jennifer like never before. Cole and Ramsey's... Uh, plot to take out Deegan and then Deegan surviving was unexpected and uh and uh the only thing I would say there's not that there wasn't that much Dr. Rayleigh which I normally like Dr. Rayleigh but I was fine with it because the other storylines were like fantastic um this is a great episode the the 2016 stuff was crazy too because uh um Cassie, Cassie, uh, finally killed, uh, I think her name's, uh, Kendra, I believe, um, but the leader of the 12 monkeys, the weird leader of the 12 monkeys, which was awesome, but now the pallid man took over, and he's going to be, uh, leading the army of the 12 monkeys now, from now on, and one of the coolest things, too, that I forgot to bring up, which I'll bring up now, is, the we figure out we see the witness for the first time and it's this masked figure in black uh in the red forest of course in the house we see this masked figure and uh how it communicates with the army of 12 monkeys is through the walls of the house and so it's really interesting like why do, it raises questions why don't we see uh, why doesn't uh it talk face to face why does that have to go through all this to talk and so i I'm pretty sure in uh, future episodes we'll figure that out. But in the end of the episode, Cassie stays in 2016. Um, Cole is going to go on a mission in the 70s to get the cog. And um, uh, the rest we, do, we don't know yet. So uh, at least was a lot. Of, this episode left us a lot of questions and answered a few. And uh, it was really fantastic. And I would say I would give this episode a 9.5 out of 10. Um, Bodies of Water, 12 Monkeys definitely was one of the best 12 Monkeys episode ever, so I'd give it 
9.5 out of 10. This is Sideburn Scroll signing off.